Max Muay Thai Stadium here in Pattaya City, Thailand. You are tuned into another edition of Max Muay Thai Fighter. Tonight we have seven great fights for you. In our main event, Tung Ngun will take on Ching Zhang. But first of all, we kick things off with a 54 kilo contest. Introducing first a fighter fighting out of the blue corner. He goes by the name of Kao Ka Chang. Hechinda, his real name is Moramin Si Makarin. He's 20 years of age, 165 centimeters tall from Nakhon Rachasima province. He has a total of 43 fights, 25 victories, 2 draws, and 16 losses. His last two fights here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium, he's had a TKO loss in the second round against Bowie Ba Pachit Jim, and a TKO loss in the second round against Nao Den Sit Saling. He fights and trains at a Pechin Da Gym where he is trained by Master Sergeant First Class Han Chit Si Sang and he is managed by Colonel Sakda Pechin Da. And now introducing his opponent in the red corner. He goes by the name of Pet Nam Chai Sit Son Tide. His real name is Giti Chai Buongun, 19 years of age, 156 centimeters tall from Buram province. Set a total of 30 fights, 19 victories, 2 draws, and 9 losses. In his last 3 fights, he has a TKO victory in the second round against Pit Song Park, Yui Gan Chang, a points loss against the Pao Tong, Sit Che Sai Rung, and a TKO loss in the second round against John Padet, Gam Nan Li Pran Marie. He fights and trains at a Singha Decha Gym here in Phnom Reef, Province, Thailand, where he is trained by Chandit Sit O. So 54 kilos to start things off. Oh, good body kick from Red. And already starting things very strong. Maybe oh, beautiful leg kick. But maybe something you don't want to reveal to your opponents too fast. Your full power. Sometimes yeah. you've seen that one fighter can take takes the, uh, his opponent's full power and all of a sudden it doesn't hurt him. And he's thinking, well, I, I can go through three rounds without a problem at all. Yes. We saw yesterday where he got, gave all his full power, didn't have anything left in the later round of the fight. Oh yes, the co-main event. Oh, what a beautiful fight. I mean, wow. You know what? That's right up there with the top 10 best Max Muay Thai matches of all time. I, I have to say. Of course, you, you had the pleasure of calling that match. I was at home watching the TV and I'm very happy that I did not miss that. Oh, the energy was electric in the stadium. Oh, absolutely. Beautiful punching combinations from Red here. Yeah, Pet Nam Thai starting off so strong. However, will he tire himself out? That is always the question when you watch a match like these. Yes, it is. Or will his opponent start to clinch him and wear him down? Because we see a lot of times strong puncher's weakness is getting put in that clinch and getting grinded on. That punching power goes very fast. No, we usually see that in the second round. Yeah. Right out of nowhere. Good body shot there from Pet Nam Chai. Looking extremely composed so far. Oh, what a good straight knee there from Kao Kachang. That just may be his weakness. I mean, after he took that knee, all of a sudden he's slowed the pace down significantly. Yeah, there's. That's why I'm such a huge proponent of attacking the body, whether you use knees, push kicks, or body shots with punches because nothing will zap a strong fighter's energy. Once again, we saw that last night as well. Nothing takes your energy or your power bar down more than body attacks. Yeah, last night the theme seemed to be the Hugo Chavez body shots. Oh! <laughs> We've seen so many of those. Oh, what big elbow! An elbow there from Kao Kachang. And now you can just see Pet Nam Chai just not the same fighter as he was before. No, that, that stopped him right in his tracks. All of a sudden, he has <laughs> respect for his opponent. And he's picked up a cut along the way. Oh, wow. That could be in a problem. That's a problem area. Absolutely. Just right above the left eye. Oh, that is a that could become a huge problem. Oh. Especially this early on in the fight, wouldn't you say? Definitely. That's the end of the first round. Man. Muay Thai Fighter. Okay, coming into the second round, uh, 
interesting first round. We saw a little bit of turning of the tide there or shifting of the tide. I mean, what would you think of that one? Uh, Petnam Chai started off the round really strong. He was trying to knock his opponent out from the get-go, but all of a sudden you see Kao Kachang in the blue corner coming in with some heavy knees and, of course, hit his opponent with a deep elbow. Look at that. Whoa. He must have cut his, and cut his opponent right above the left eye. Um, it's hard to say. I mean, just towards the end, you can see Kao Kachang looked like the stronger fighter. I have to give that round to him. And I believe you thought di differently I, there. Yeah, I, I had to go with uh, Petnam Chai only because I agree 100% with your point. Blue took over, but it was late in the row. And he's definitely come right back now, Petnam Chai. I tell you what, Blue is picking up big points because he got knocked down and came right back forward. But all of a sudden, I mean, we thought that Petnam Chai did not have that power again, but here he is. Yeah. Good low kick there from Petnam Chai. Just oh. a bit worried that that cut might bother him soon. I'm very surprised that his opponent's not trying to attack that cut more with punches or even elbows. You can tell he's looking at it though. But now he's going low. And great balance there from Petnam Chai. Great ring, ring awareness. I think when you give a guy that cut, a cut like that, that early on in the fight, you gotta continue to attack it. No, I, 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 I have to agree. And Kao Kachang, he's just not doing that at all. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to understand his tactics right now. I mean, there we go. I mean, he, he was in another good position to attack the cut, and he just didn't do it. But there we go into the clinch. Let's see if he does anything. Good stabbing knee, though, from him. It's almost like he's getting out need here. And that cut is just, it's in such a problematic place. I mean, it's... Yeah, you can just see the blood coming out now, but not getting into his eyes. Yeah, not yet, but it's definitely one. If he could attack more, he could really cause a doctor stoppage or a doctor to go look at it. And but right by here, us in ringside, the doctor looks seems pretty content to let the match go on. Yeah, and that's really because you can see his opponent, Kao Kajang, is just not attacking it. Kao Kajang, excuse me. Ready? Oh. There we go. He attacked it right there. And. It came in the last minute of the round. Let's see if he goes for even more. Right now, if, this, if the round ends the way it's been going, I gotta go with red. I have to as well. I mean, just, Blue is just not attacking that much no more. No, one in the back foot. Oh, wow, it's a big overhand right. I don't know what it is. I mean, did he think just cutting his opponent was enough? Yeah, I mean, maybe he felt the power and he was just like, oh man, this guy still got power. This could be a problem. Because he did come out and got dropped right, right on. Even though it wasn't counted, it still was resulted from a punch. Oh, he felt that power, that's for sure. There he goes. He throws the elbow, but to the wrong side of the face. Well, that's unfortunate. And I'm trying to look at his corner. His corner really doesn't... Yeah, they don't seem to be motioning for him to continue to attack that cut. They seem to be more content to... Yeah. Well, we'll talk to you in the next round. Muay Thai Fighter! Alright, coming into round number three. Okay, I think we were both in uh, agreement here that uh, Pendam Chai won that round for sure. Absolutely. There's no dispute about it. I mean, Pendam Chai, even though he's cut, he's still going forward in the psyche just like that. That's how he started off the round really strongly. And I believe he kept... He, 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 he kept a pretty good pressure throughout that second round. Great pressure. However, I can't say the same for his opponent, though. No, he kind of, he faded. I mean, I don't know. He has clinched it to appear as strong as it did in the first round. And his knees, he wasn't really, you know, he had a great knee assault in the first round, but then he just kind of fizzled away. Yeah, at times it seemed like Kao Jung just didn't want to fight at all. Let's see if he changes up this round. Well, he's coming forward now, which is a good sign. And throwing some... Good knees already. However, his back ended against the ropes. Petnam Chai still doing a good job, but Petnam Chai moving back now. And great elbow there for Petnam Chai. Not really affecting Kao Kajang, though. Oh, big knee from Red. And this rat has become a war already. Good elbow there from the fighter in the red corner. Well, you got to imagine Blue's corner told him to come out and fight with a sense of urgency. 
Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, he just might lose his match. Yeah. It's definitely a match that can still go either way. Good elbow again from the final right corner. Trading elbows, trading blows. Basically, anything you could do, I could do be better is what both, both of the fighters are saying right now. Yeah. Despite the fact that the cut is just above Pet Namchai's left eye, it hasn't seemed to bother him at all. No, he has, you know, he's not blanking frantically and he hasn't really wiped at it, so. No, I mean, I haven't seen it go into his eye or he hasn't even had to wipe it. No, he looks okay. Well, he does look a little winded here. No, and that's due to the fact that Zipota started off the round so strongly. Big knees from Blue. Oh, very nice. Very nice, but he went down too. Yeah. So it's not going to win him any bonus, bonus points, so to speak. Oh, those knees from the blue corner are just stabbing Pet Namchai. Just as I said, if, if, if the round keeps going this way, it's definitely Kyle Krachang's round. Without a doubt. Which makes me ask the question, what was he doing in the second round? <laughs> you got to really wonder that as well. I mean, he has this much energy in the third. Where was it in the second? He could have used it. And now he's just paid it away. His corner was not happy about that. Not at all. Yeah, they're trying to tell him to push just like he's doing now. Been an interesting fight. I mean, I don't understand why Kaoka Jung is now staying back. Yeah. I mean, we've got 27 seconds to go. It's going to be interesting. If he does lose, I mean, he's going to have to take a hard look at himself and ask himself, you know, why did he give up that second round? And uh, the next morning, he's going to be watching this and saying to himself, why did I go forward? Yeah. Why did I push that extra mile? Yeah, absolutely. But interesting to see how the judges will score this match here. By body posture and everything, I wouldn't be surprised if Pet Chai comes out on top. And that's the end of the fight. There's that respect we see in Muay Thai a lot of the times. Let's take a look at some of the replay now from that fight. Good body shot there from the fighter in the blue corner. And that elbow though, I'm surprised he stayed up after that one. Let's take a look at some other shots. And obviously the body, the, the, the knees of the blue corner was just the story of that round as well. Let's see what the judges have to say about this one here. That was a good fight at his hand, gentlemen. Before we go to the judge's decision, let's check out the final prize. Max. สนับสนุนโดย Max Muay Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max Muay Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max Muay Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ Fighter for blue and red corner. Max Muay Thai Facebook page. Boy fighter receive our fighter prizes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of actions, we go to the charger scorecard for the winner. Blue corner. How great job, Pat Chinda. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back up there, Shot Bridge. This is Muay Thai Fighter.